Today's lesson is on quadrilaterals and other polygons, and our objective today is for you, the student, uh, to be able to classify the quadrilaterals and other polygons by applying a set of criteria. Um, and we're going to figure out from that, uh, especially on the quadrilaterals, uh, which uh, category do they belong to. There's a bunch of categories of quadrilaterals, and the criteria helps us judge uh, which ones they belong to. A lot of the quadrilaterals belong to more than one, and that's why we have to be uh, pretty thorough today uh, and systematic in our investigations. <clears throat> the next thing we're going to be doing is uh, that you'll have to know that the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral equal 360 degrees. Now, there's no way of you knowing that from fourth grade. This is a new thing, um, but this is kind of a preview for you. Uh, and it's true that quadrilaterals add up the angles, they equal 360. Well, if we took one of the angles away, would you be able to figure that out and use algebra to do that? That's going to be part of the lesson today. All right, in order to succeed in this lesson, you're going to have to know how to be thorough and find a missing number using algebra. Our notes today seem, you know, really long, but they're actually not. Um, this is, uh, the first one is, what are the different classifications of quadrilaterals? All right, and here's, here they are right here. I wrote them down for you. Uh, and you just write, you know, how do you know it's a rectangle? What do re all rectangles have? How do you know it's a parallelogram? All parallelograms have some same, uh, same things in common. Rhombuses, same thing. Trapezoids, squares, they all have something in common. And then we can use those rules to see whether or not a uh, quadrilateral fits into in any of these categories. The next thing is, what are the names of the polygons and how many sides do they have? Well, here are the names of the polygons we're going to be um, looking at and just write a number. Triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, octagon. They all have a certain number of sides and as you find out, you can add them to your notes and you can find out right now. All right, so here we are with uh, polygons. Poly means many and uh, on top we have the number of sides, three four, five, six, seven, or no seven, but six, eight. And below we have the names of them. So a triangle is a three-sided figure, and tri means three, and it's below you can see that it has three angles on it, triangle. It also means it has three sides. Number four, or not number four, but four sides is a quadrilateral. Quad means four, and you can see that, and lateral means side, so it's one, two, three, four, Sides, it also means it has one, two, three, four angles in it. Pentagon, pent means five, one, two, three, four, five sides, one, two, three, four, five angles. Hexagon, hex means six, one, two, three, four, five, six angles, and that means six sides. So same number of angles and sides. Octagon, eight sides, like a stop sign. The uh, thing that we're also going to be judging these things on is, is are these shapes regular polygons? And a regular polygon has all sides the same length and all angles are equal. Uh, and so, you know, we learned about equilateral triangles. That would be a regular polygon. Squares, because all sides are the same, regular polygon. And you can have regular hexagons, regular pentagons. And you can kind of tell a regular polygon by how it looks. It looks very balanced. If you spun it around, um, it would be the same in any direction and uh, most people can just kind of eyeball it and tell whether or not a polygon is regular or not. All right, here we are classifying quadrilaterals um, and there's four classifications. We'll just go through them really quickly. Uh, first of all, a rectangle. All right, a rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles and a right angle, if you remember, is your corner angles and they form a perfect square. So a rectangle has four of those uh, and um, and that's it. Oh, and the other side or the other things is these sides are parallel, the opposite sides. That's what a parallelogram is. So this side over here is parallel to that side over there and getting a different color. This side on top is parallel to this side on the bottom. And now you can tell it's a rectangle. All right, next thing, parallelogram. And a parallelogram has 
two sets of parallel sides. Nothing about the um, angles, but this side on the bottom and that side on the top are parallel. And then this and that side are both parallel. Next we have a rhombus. A lot of people call it a rhombus, um, but it's a, a rhombus. A rumba is a dance, but this is a rhombus and it's a shape. And a rhombus is a parallelogram with all sides the same length. All right, so uh, this side here is the same length as that side, is the same length as that side, is the same length as that side. Uh, so that would be a rhombus. And then a trapezoid is our last one. And a trapezoid has one set of parallel sides. So a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. Rom or trapezoid has just one. And you can see that the top side and the bottom side are going to be parallel. And then these sides are not because they kind of bending in. And eventually, if you just traced where these things were going, they would meet. Well. Parallel means they're never going to meet. So a trapezoid just has one set of parallel sides. And then the last thing is a square, right? And a square is a rectangle because it forms four right angles. It's also a rhombus because all sides are the same length. It's also a parallelogram because all the sides are parallel. So some of these things fit in a whole bunch of categories, and that's going to be the fun of it. All right, here we go with um, polygons. We're just going to be naming these polygons and telling whether or not it's regular. So uh, here we have a figure, right? And to name the polygons, you just have to name it by how many sides there are. So we're just going to apply these criteria, these rules right here, to figure out what it is. So how many sides are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, wait. There's not 15. And I had to know where I started. All right, maybe I'll make a mark after I draw the um, shape. Uh, I started there. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I won't count that one again. Um, so there's eight sides to this. Eight-sided figures are called octagons, and so that is an octagon. All right, moving down here, I'm going to start there, put a little mark. One, two, three, four, five, six sides, and six-sided figures are called hexagons. By the way, uh, this looks like it might fit very well with your notes, right? All right, next shape is a one, two, three, four, five, six... Oh wait, no, I got to mark where I started. So I start there. One, two, three, four, five. It's a five-sided uh, figure, and five-sided figures are called pentagons. It's not a pentagons. It's a pentagon. All right, and then the last one you should be able to uh, get right away. It's a triangle. Right, and there's nothing more to it than that, just classifying the polygons based on their shape. But also, are these regular shapes? Well, that ox octagon uh, looks like it has all sides the same length, so that is a regular octagon. So you just put regular below it or in front of it. We call it a regular octagon or an octagon, uh, comma, regular, whatever you want. This hexagon looks like all sides are the same length, looks very balanced, so we call that a regular hexagon. This pentagon, yeah, looks like all sides are the same length, so we're going to call that a regular pentagon. Um, and then this triangle, though, this side seems like it's longer than that side. Uh, and so that's just a triangle, not a regular triangle. All right, moving on now uh, into classifying quadrilaterals in as many ways as possible. Here's our uh, notes for, um, you know, the criteria. And so let's just go through them one by one and see, do they fit all of these four different um, categories, right? So here's the first one, parallelogram. And 
yeah, it looks like that side and that side are going to be the same, and that side, not same, but um, parallel. So it looks like all the sides are parallel, so this is a parallelogram. Check. Next one, is this a rectangle? Does it have four right angles? One, two, three, four. So it's also a rectangle. Is it a rhombus, all sides being the same length? Well, this side is six inches and that side's four inches, so it can't be a rhombus. What about a trapezoid? Does it have only one side set of parallel sides? Well, no, we said it had two, so it fit parallelogram and not trapezoid. All right, and so this is a parallelogram and a rectangle and not any of these other things. All right, let's move on to number six now. Let's check it out, see if it's a parallelogram. Uh, this side, does that look parallel to that side? Yes. How about this side and the other opposite side? Those look parallel too. So this is a, six is a parallelogram. Uh, is it a rectangle? Does it have four right angles? This one has zero right angles, so it is not a rectangle. What about a rhombus? Are all sides the same length? Well, they all say one inch, so they're all the same length. And so it's a rhombus. And since it's a parallelogram, it can't be a trapezoid because it has two sets of uh, parallel sides, not just one. All right, how about number seven now? Is this a parallelogram? And it looks like everything's parallel. So the number seven is a parallelogram. Is it a rectangle? Does it have four right angles? One, two, three, four. It's also a rectangle. Is it a rhombus? Does it have all sides the same length? Two, two feet, two feet, two feet, two feet. It's a rhombus. And since it is a parallelogram, it can't be a trapezoid. All right. And then the fourth shape that we're looking at, uh, we'll just go through the, um, be methodical again, go right through each category. Parallelogram. The top's parallel to the bottom, but the sides are not parallel. And therefore, uh, it is not a parallelogram. Rectangle, no, it doesn't have any uh, right angles, so it's not a rectangle. Rhombus, all sides the same length? Well, no, the bottom's longer than the top, that's clear, so it isn't a rhombus. What about a trapezoid? Uh, oh, it has one set of parallel sides. Look, top and bottom are parallel, so this thing is only a trapezoid. All right, and again, just go through your uh, list and apply each one of these category criteria to the shape and see if it fits. All right, here's the last thing we have to do is, and that's finding a missing angle. So if you add up all the angles of a quadrilateral, you would get 360 degrees. And how do I know that? Because if I have a square and each side is, or each angle is 90, it's 90 times four, which is 360. Uh, and you know, when you have a rectangle, it's pretty easy because you know that that forms a right angle and you know that right angles equal 90 degrees. And so in this case, N equals 90. And that's pretty simple to find out. But over here on this trapezoid, you have to do a little math to find this out, right? And if we know all of the sides add up to 360, we can start with that number. Uh, and then 360 minus 70, 110, and 115 is going to equal um, that. So if we take all of those, subtract these three away, and we should have that left over. So it's minus 70, minus 110, and minus 100. 15 equals the n. So if I add up all of these and get 70 plus 110 is 180, 280, 295. So 360 minus 295 equals n, and then 360 minus 295 equals 65. So n equals 65 on this one. Now, what if you have a question where it doesn't show you a shape, it just gives you a bunch of numbers. Well, we apply the same thing, which is 360, oops, that should be a six, 360 minus the three that you know, 
minus 45 minus 55 minus 135 and that would be oh, not a parenthesis there minus 135 that will equal your fourth angle your n angle all right and then you just have to do all the math for that 45 plus 55 is 100 plus uh, 135 is 235 360 minus 235 equals n and then uh, I'm going to continue it over here that would equal 125 equals n and you won't be able to do that in your head so just uh, do it on the paper I'm doing it in my head for speed all right so here's our uh, task for today or to do and it's out of the homework book h10-3 we're going to do all the problems 1 through 11 and a uh, big reminder today a quadrilateral may have many different classifications for example a square is a rectangle a rhombus and a parallelogram it can be tricky and for instance all uh, rectangles are parallelograms but not all parallelograms are rectangles so being methodical uh, and naming your quadrilaterals is very very important all right, good luck.